The budget crunch continues on day 105 at the Kansas State House, and right now the House and Senate have agreed to a preliminary solution to plug that $400 million shortfall. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Hollenbeck is at the Topeka Capitol, and Sarah, they could still there could still be uh, a lot of time needed to finalize this budget. Chris, yeah, that's right. The House is going to have the first vote. The Senate will have the vote after that, but there's still a lot of people that disagree on the things that are now in that budget. And you can get your wallet ready because a lot of people here in Kansas are going to end up footing a bunch of the bill because they may increase the sales tax we all pay. Take a look at this video. It shows some of the tense moments today inside of the State House at the Taxation Committee meeting. Legislators took a five minute break today to let off some steam. And in the current plan, Kansas can expect to pay more in sales tax. That means food and cigarettes and virtually everything that you buy at the store. But the real debate still centers on how much income tax small businesses should pay. We do not want to raise taxes on uh, productivity and hard work for the citizens. So uh, we'll keep some of them. We're just going to have to do a little modification to get us through. I think it's very unfair that we've got 338,000 businesses that are paying zero income tax, and now we're asking the rest of Kansas to pay higher taxes. That's just totally unfair. Now, you know, there's a lot of people disagreeing, but the one thing they do agree upon, they want to get this thing done. They're hoping not to be in session this weekend. Of course, that could still be a possibility, depending how long the House and Senate debate on this latest budget bill. Now, coming up at 6, I'm going to talk in specifics about how much more you can expect to pay when you go to the store if they pass this current budget. Reporting live in Topeka, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck for One Action News.